Hi there, Anthony from Contractors Debt Recovery again. Uh, today we're going to talk about enforcing judgments. Uh, how do you get a judgment against someone who's not paying you either through adjudication under security of payments or a statement of claim process through court? Uh, you can get a judgment that can be filed uh, in court or registered in court as a, as a judgment against your uh, debtor. Okay, now enforcing judgments is the fun part of the whole process. This is where you get your money. This is where you enforce the righteousness you've managed to achieve uh, through your payment dispute or through adjudication or whatever process you've gone to uh, get judgment. Not enough people are interested in it. Oh yeah, we, we won, we won the case. Well now what? Well, now you wanna get your money. Wasn't that the point of the whole process? So what do we do? Here are the options available to you generally around Australia in various forms. The first one is a garnishee order. You can get an order from the court for uh, an order to be served on the bank where your client banks uh, to suck the money out of their account. If the judgment debt is $27,500, there'll be a garnishee order you can get, send it to the bank, they'll look for your client's account if it's there and take the money out or take as much out. Uh, if there's less than 27 and a half grand, they'll take out everything. All right, if you don't know where your client banks, you can simply garnish bank after bank after bank at no extra cost until you hit some pay dirt. I've certainly done that a few times. So garnish the order. Uh, for sheer entertainment value, that's your number one choice because there's no warning, the money just comes out. Uh, second, you can do a writ of levy on property, otherwise known as sending the sheriffs around. The sheriffs will come around to your client's business or uh, where they have property or vehicles or plant and seize it uh, uh, with the intent to auction it off and pay you out of the proceeds. Now, whenever I've sent sheriffs around, they usually walk out with a check from the client and that settles the dispute. So you, that is open to you. It's a writ of execution, a writ for levy on property, or send the sheriffs around to seize property and sell at auction. The four, third one is a statutory demand. You serve a stat, creditor's statutory demand on your client after you've achieved judgment. They have 21 days to pay. Uh, or you can begin the wind-up process. You can uh, uh, basically assert that they're trading while they're insolvent and move on from there. So that's a very powerful lever uh, to get your client to come out from under a rock and to pay you or to at least force a settlement. Uh, the fourth one is an instalment order. So when you have a judgment against a client, you can agree that they pay you by instalments, but an instalment order is basically an agreement for them to uh, pay you, but that's an agreement they make with the court, not with you. So it's got some glue to it, an instalment order. So you can agree how much they pay you and what date every month they pay you. So just to summarise, some ways to enforce your judgment, a garnishee order, a writ for levy on property, send the sheriffs around, a statutory demand, and an instalment order. There are four biggies for you, think about it. And remember, don't lose interest when you get judgment. That's only half the job. Getting your money is the full deal. I'll see you next time.